Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Josh with New HVAC Guide and Griffin Air wanted to do a video piggybacking off a video that I did in the past. And basically in that first video, I talked about the Bosch heat pump line. Yep. I mean Bosch, the same folks that make your dishwasher, your clothes washer, your dryer, the tools in your garage, all that stuff. They also make heat pumps now. And I did a video talking about them. Back then, when they first came out, they really only had one system. They did two separate sizes, and based on the installation, if it was installed properly, you could put in one of the two systems and program it correctly, wire it correctly, and it could change the capacity for that particular size home so it's not oversized and you would get a true inverter system. I actually made a claim in that first video because I do believe some of the other brands are missing out on this technology. And basically what Bosch has done is they're taking the suction line pressure coming back from the evaporator coil and using that as their measurement for that outdoor unit to ramp up and down with a true inverter system. So a lot of the other brands out there, great brands, great technology, all that stuff, they use communicating technology to where the indoor and outdoor units can talk to one another, ramp up and down and all of that. Well, the problem with that is you're restricted on, for one, you're restricted on the controllers or your thermostats. You can only use their brand. Some of them need to listen to us out in the field and their customers on how good or bad their thermostats are, but that's a whole nother topic. But you're not gonna be able to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. You're not gonna be able to go get your Nest or your Ecobee or something like that off the shelf and install it with that system because it's a communicating system. Whereas with Bosch, you can. You can go get one of those thermostats. Now, I'm hearing conflicting information. We were told when we took the Bosch class to not use a smart thermostat in particular, the Nest thermostats, they told us that in the class, do not use those. Um, but I'm hearing from other folks that are installing them that they were not told that and they've installed them with them and they work fine. So, you know, take that with what you will. That being said, that video is a little outdated now. Some things have changed and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So Bosch has transitioned after that first year or two, they had you know, their first system that they had, and they ended up calling that the 1.0 line. It was their 18 sear system, and it had a constant torque air handler. And then they came out with what they called their 2.0, and that was more of a variable speed air handler, a little bit bigger outdoor unit and things like that. So, so for a while there, that was the two systems. And then they came out with their package unit, and their package unit's pretty awesome. It's 19 sear and super quiet in comparison to a lot of other package units. And during the making of this video, I could be wrong, but I believe that's probably the highest sear package unit on the market. There might be another one out there. I'm not sure. But a lot of the big name brands, they make their package units and they're not super worried about because we are told the market is just not there for them to get super crazy. So what Bosch did was the other way around. Instead of making those lower end, they just went ahead and came out with a high sear package unit. It's kind of impressive actually. Let me get back to their heat pumps, their split systems where they had the 1.0 and the 2.0. And now you transition into this year and they now have three different setups. And what's interesting is they have three different type systems. You can now get a 15, 15 to 16 ish system an 18 ish system and a 20 ish system, but they really only make four components. Now, again, there's going to be two different sizes, but let's just stay with a, you know, one and a half up to three ton capacity. And they're only using four different components. So they have two air handlers and two heat pump condensers. And depending on the matchup, that's how you get what your sear is going to be. I'll put a link to their website and down in the description so you can check that out. I think that's pretty interesting. Basically what they're doing is they've now got an air handler that is a PSC motor, just a regular single speed motor, just like you used to have. And they're pairing that with that 18 sear that what we would have called 1.0 
heat pump in the past and that's how they get the 15 sear and then you keep that same outdoor unit and you pair it with their constant torque air handler that they always had and now you're back to the 18 sear and then you keep that air handler but then put this other outdoor unit the 20 sear so they don't have from what i can tell i'm not seeing the variable speed anymore air handler so you're either going to be a psc on the 15 sear line or you're going to be the constant torque air handler on the 18 or 20 sear line so i've been careful about not talking about some of the model numbers and such because they change and you know all that stuff this video could become outdated really quickly but it's all on their website i'll put it in there the cool thing about bosch is they don't hide anything like some of the other brands you can go right to their website you can pull up the same information i can pull up and at the bottom of their heat pump page they've got their brochures They've got their quick start guides, but they also have the installation manuals and the spec sheets. So you could pull that up, check it out, see if it's a fit for your home. I don't think that Bosch is the greatest at everything. I don't think they're the end all for all homes, but there are certain applications that I think that they are the best option. There are certain homes. If you have a manufactured house with an electric furnace or a mobile home, the savings you can see, I, we have customers in our market, they have an electric furnace for their heat and they have a straight AC outdoor for their AC and they are burning straight heat strips in a mobile home in the wintertime. You go putting in a Bosch heat pump, nice high sear, 18 sear Bosch heat pump, match that with an indoor coil with that thing and run that on heat on those mild days your utility bills, I'm telling you, we've done it for several customers. It will blow your mind. So I hope that helps if you're checking out different brands or you're checking out the Bosch brand specifically. I think it's interesting what they're doing. I think it's pretty cool that basically they've got four components. Of course, that's up to three ton. And then they've got four more components up to five ton for the residential. And then just with those, they can offer basically hundreds of different setups, really. Uh, you know, some of the other brands, you know, if you're going to do a ton and a half, a two ton, two and a half, and three ton, you're looking at four different condensers, four different air handlers right there. Then if you want to do variable speed, indoor air handler, now you're talking about four and four again, even more. It's just really interesting how Bosch can simplify it and only make a few pieces of equipment to cover so many bases. With that said, please read the instructions. I don't care if you're the installer or who you are or how many you've put in. Every time I've done one of these videos on Bosch's and I get some feedback, people saying that they're having issues, I would say the majority of the time is because the installer did not read the instructions and install it properly program it properly, flip the right dip switches on. We've heard folks talk about the humidity problems they have after installing a Bosch. Well, that's because you're oversizing it for your home. If you're not installing it properly, your home might only need 1.9 units of cooling or whatever uh, after you do the heat load calculations. If you did a conventional standard system, you might've only did a two ton, but because now you've went with Bosch, you technically have a three ton system in there and it wasn't installed properly, giving you the two ton capacity. And that's why you're having moisture issues. So that being said, I hope that helps. Got any questions, put it down in the comments. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad. Avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.